from tools you'll need to tips and tricks, I'll guide you through it all. In this video, we're going to dive into the thrill of soldering in the audio world. Seriously though, with this soldering technique, you can repair and revive your own cables and microphones without spending extra on a new one. Before we jump into the action, let's quickly run through what you'll need. A soldering iron kit. This one comes with the iron, holder, solder, wire stripper, tweezers, and more. Check the link in the description. A soldering mat. This one is made of eco-friendly silicone material resistant to heat up to 500 Celsius or 932 degrees Fahrenheit. A clamp and magnifying glass serving as a very helpful pair of extra hands and eyes. Shrink tubing will help you secure and keep it tightly together. Soldering iron has a heated tip that melts solder and allows us to join those wire connections with ease. Keep the iron in the holder when not in use and avoid touching any metal areas. It'll be hot. Also, keep a wet sponge to clean leftover solder from the iron tip. Now, let's jump into it. Prep the cables and strip them. Strip them. <laughs> we mean remove the outer insulation to expose the inner conductors. And with that, the wires are free and ready to be twisted into themselves. Next, we'll clean out old solder from the pin connectors. Hold the connector with pliers and carefully heat one of the pins until you see the Terminator 2 effect, that soupy metal look. With the pliers in hand, gently tap the edge of your table, launching the heated solder onto your mat. Now we're ready to solder the wires in. Prep your mat with the clamp, holding your connector and something to prop your mic. Add solder to the pin cavity. The solder will melt and flow inside, leveling itself. In this liquefied state, gently glide the wire in. Make sure it's the correct wire to pin connection before you start. Repeat for each wire and pin you need to connect. To give our connection that extra layer of protection, you can use heat shrink tubing. Slide the tubing over the solder joint and then heat it up with a heat gun, or even a hair dryer if you're feeling adventurous. The tubing has shrunk and snugly wrapped itself around the connection. And there you have it. You are now armed with the superpower of soldering wires to a connector. Channel your strength. Unlock your geeky potential and save your own gear. You deserve it. Let me know how it goes. Click that like button and subscribe. And let us know down in the comments how this worked out for you.